What's going on? This is the Ask a Swim Pro Show. We are here in Hangzhou, China. My name is Ferris Sabetti, co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro, and I am joined by a special guest, Tiago Pereira of Brazil. How are you? Great, and you? I'm doing well. So <laughs> we're here at the FINA World Aquatics Convention. Uh, what, in your own words, what is that? I mean, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here with you all and share a little bit. Uh, I really believe uh, it's good to have the, the convention. It's every two years, you know, mm -hmm. every 25 meters world championship. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, uh, I mean, it's an opportunity for people to share like what's new, you know, like bring new ideas, like uh, new products, you know, technologies is going on. Mm -hmm. And if we see like the last, I mean, I retired last year, but I mean, we can see from from the last games, like how it's been changing, you know, if you yeah. go 12 to 16, a lot of change. And pretty sure from 16, you know, for 2020, yeah. a lot of change again. Yeah. So it's good to have those opportunities, you know, like there's a lot of new things. Mm -hmm. uh, even the MyStream Pro, I mean, mm -hmm. I found out it was one mm -hmm. of those conventions, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and new products. I mean, yeah. so it's really important, you know, uh, everything that we could do for like mm -hmm. promote swimming, not, not only as a, um, high level mm -hmm. but I mean anything to really promote the sport because I really yeah, believe yeah. at the sport because I always say like the high level it's mm -hmm. like one percent yes. of the pyramid you yes, know yes. so we got to still focus on like the yeah. rest because that's that's where we get like the, the big crowd yes yes and a lot of coaches are speaking um, a lot of industry professionals are speaking at the Golden Coaches Clinic and you gave a, a talk right so why don't you give us a overview of what you talked about <laughs> it was like it was an honor you know Murta they invited me to mm -hmm. to to give them a, a little speech about mm -hmm. like what I've been doing in Brazil to, to promote swimming and then one of the things that uh, I've been working on it's the it's the cause of the drowning mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the biggest cause of death around mm -hmm. the world uh, especially Brazil is like it's top mm -hmm. three yeah. so it's I mean and most of the people they they have no idea how mm -hmm how dangerous it is and I mean we gotta I really believe this message we gotta focus on the parents yes. because I mean the kids they don't know mm -hmm. for them it's fun I mean yeah. they want to jump in the water they have no yeah. idea that they need to learn how to swim mm -hmm. or or even like even worse you know if you put the buoy mm -hmm. not buoy like yeah, you know the if floaties. The, floaties, the floaties you know yeah. so I mean it's, it's it's even more uh how can I say it's even more um, interesting for the, mm -hmm. the kids because they have no idea that without that it's they dangerous. cannot jump in the water it's dangerous it's, it's yes. dangerous so, i yeah. mean uh so all of those small things i figure you know when i start talking in brazil mm -hmm. like i realized that everyone was like wow it's like mm -hmm. that i mean mm -hmm. really it's it's mm -hmm. that big it's like it's that real i mean it's yeah real and problem that needs to be solved, it is yeah. and that's the story of my life too mm -hmm. that's that's why i i'm trying to bring that right mm -hmm. now because the reason why I got into swim is because I almost drowned when I was like two years old, mm. and it's always the same. The same. Uh, it's always always the same phrase. I would say that mm -hmm. you know people say, "Oh, it was just a minute." That what it takes. Mm -hmm. It's just a minute. And yeah. in my case it was just like I was in a barbecue with my mom, mm -hmm. family, and then she got she got me like all ready, you know, all ready to go, like mm. shower and everything. And then she was just like, "Hey, could you guys?" Look, Chago, for two minutes, you know, I'm mm. going to go get ready, take a shower and everything. Mm. That's what it, it took, you know, so just I mean, one minute. just one minute. I mean, mm. so that's one of the causes that, as I said yesterday on my speech, uh, I mean, I got lucky that my cousin was there, but mm. there's like thousands of people in the world, they don't have the same look. So I really believe like if we start doing little things like I'm doing in Brazil, but I know like some other people they're doing around the world, like, if we start adding like what I'm doing with the other, with the other, mm -hmm. if we do like little things at the end, I mean, I'm pretty sure we can, we can reach like uh, worldwide or, you know, we can get more strength. Yeah. And you mentioned in Brazil uh, what you're, so maybe tell us more about that, what you're actually working on. So we, we created this plan of the drowning, you mm -hmm. know, try to find uh, the right way. You know, we, 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 we're a little scared, you know, just to say like, what mm -hmm. are the causes? You know, and then people start like tripping out. So what what should I do? Mm. So we're trying to find like there's the cause here, mm. but we need at the same point as soon as we you know we we start to come educate them. Educate you them. Teach, yeah, educate yeah. Them. When you start to educate them, I mean you need to give like okay, so this is what you have to do. Mm -hmm. 
So that's one other thing on the journey. Another thing that I'm doing is the, I create a competition mm -hmm. under my name. It's um, called Trophy Thiago Pereira in yeah, Brazil. Yeah. And the idea of that is like it really promotes swimming. Yes. You don't have to be on any federation. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can go swim. You, you need to know how to swim. That's it. Yes. You know, and then you go. It's open for everyone. Uh, I do, we do inclusion, so mm -hmm. I mean, we have para athletes and athletes together, mm -hmm. they swim in the same lane and the same heat, mm -hmm. they swim together, you know, the, mm -hmm. the idea is like, let's put all together, you know, we don't have to separate anyone, I mean, yeah. they swim together, we're separating awards, of mm -hmm. course, to keep, you know, the motivate yeah. and motivate and all of that, but. When did you start that? It was this year, I mean, we and did. So you had the first competition yeah we have the first we had the first was february so we were like growing it was good mm -hmm. too so the first one we had like 90 to 95 athletes mm -hmm. the second one was 110 115 mm -hmm. yeah around that yeah, yeah and the third one we got 320 wow and then 330 for the final uh -huh. i mean so we saw that was good you know growing, yeah. feedback was perfect because mm -hmm. I, I really believe that's really important because that's that's the the people we reach so mm -hmm. i mean we got to listen to them like if it was great or not mm -hmm. i mean if it was not like how can we get improve, better yeah. we got to improve <laughs> so that's that's the idea and then uh, i started figure like how to make a swim competition more more fun mm -hmm. thinking more on the parents because i mean mm -hmm. For them to sit down and be there mm. for six hours <laughs> oh, and watch their kids swim for yeah. like three minutes, it, I mean, yeah, it's a minute. long way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, three minutes if you do like two one, two, or three yeah. races. Yeah, yeah. Across you know? all of them. Three Across, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we need to do some entertainment, mm -hmm. you know, because at one point, I mean, he's going to be tired to be like six yeah. hours there. So maybe, yeah. you know, he watches swim and then he can go do some other things so yes. one thing that we create it's like I created area you know like there's like books for the kids mm. where they can paint you know oh, like awesome. uh, there's another area like uh, I put like a video game area mm. so little area you can go you can play with mm. a, the athlete can go the parents can go yes. activation you know like trying to do like something mm. interesting so mm. they will go okay he said just swam so we got a window so yeah. on that window Oh, let's go look that. Let's go yeah. look at that. You know, I made a, I made a Tiago on my side, on my size. Oh, life size. No, a life size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, uh -huh. so when people go there, I put me on the second place, oh. so they can <laughs> take funny. a okay. picture like yeah, oh, beat, at the first. Place. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, those things. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's fun. We got to be more interesting. I think that's yeah. that's that's the thing. And for us as an athlete, I mean. We know, I mean, because we were there, we, yes. we lived there, you yes, know, yes. we lived that moment. So we kind of know like what is good, what is not, mm -hmm. what, what the parents would expect. And yes. So it's, I really believe if you, if you create something that with all the experience that I have and uh, something that you will enjoy, mm -hmm. it's, it's a big chance that the others yeah. will enjoy too. What, where do you, what's the vision for, for what you're doing? Where do you see this in five years? Man, I wanted to see, uh, same as I said on the, on the speech, like when I decided to go on swimming, I had no idea what's, what's gonna happen. And it took me 20 years for like to achieve all my dreams. Mm -hmm. And it took me 20 years to like, to be doing this speech here. Mm -hmm. Cause like oh, my whole career it helped me to be, you know, to grow, build. Mm -hmm. And then I wanna see like maybe in five or 10 or 20 years, like the same, you know, mm -hmm. like we're starting, uh, I spoke about the drowning here now, I spoke about the trophy, I'm doing clinics, mm -hmm. uh, camps, uh, speeches, so mm -hmm. maybe, in, you know, like in 20 years, we're going to look it back and say like, oh my God, look at look what we got, look at what yeah. we achieved, you know, so that's kind of my plan. And the drowning thing is one of the biggest focus that I have. I've been talking with Fina, you know, talking with a lot of people, like get to know more information. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had a great talk with uh, Tony Irving at the mm -hmm. Buenos Aires too, you know, I, I was there yeah. for the youth games. Yeah. So, I mean, we need more, we need to connect more. Mm -hmm. I think before, I mean, of course we know it was harder because right now we have social media, yeah. we have the apps, we have mm -hmm. video calls, mm -hmm. video conference. So, yeah. it's just easier for you to communicate, connect, connect yeah. with everyone. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, 
I think that's kind of idea, my plan. Yeah. <laughs> and you talked about the last 20 years, your swimming, competitive swimming career, um, competing in the Olympic Games and a whole bunch the of- Americans, World Championship. Right? Yeah, so well, if you could summarize you know, that, what was it like to be a professional athlete and you know, reflect? <laughs> right. Uh, I really, I mean, sports, is, uh, I believe it's a unique thing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and I really believe that sports can change the world. Um, I mean, it was great. I see like most of the decisions that I took and it kind of like the sport makes me grow. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you have to grow when you're so young. I mean, mm -hmm. I left home when I was 15 years old. So mm -hmm. I'm from a small town in the state of Rio. Mm -hmm. So I had to move to like follow my dream, you know, mm -hmm. so I mean, so when you start like learning when you're young, like taking decisions, competitions, like when you have to deal, when you win, when you lose, when mm -hmm. you, you like some of the, some of the, some of the things like uh, when you don't achieve what we really want it, mm -hmm. that usually you're gonna dis discover this like late in life, you know, mm -hmm. like yeah. after you got it, after you graduate, after mm -hmm. you got a job or whatever. So I really believe like the sports help mm -hmm. you all a lot, like. Um, yeah. In the beginning, and uh, another thing that I always say, I mean, more for Brazil because they know U.S. They have the, the universities, they have mm -hmm. all connected with sports. But in Brazil, we need to have like uh, the sports needs to be more close with the school, mm. you know, because now like all the sports is more like in the clubs. Yes. But we need to promote more in the schools, you mm. know, like in the college schools, mm. like uh, not only swimming, you know, when you were a kid, you gotta enjoy. Mm -hmm. I did a bunch of sports. I did uh, volleyball, I did soccer, I did basketball, I did swim. Mm. Before I pick and I really decided like I wanna go on a swim. Yeah. So I think when you're a kid, like you gotta like enjoy a little bit. You know, mm. I see like a bunch of dads like asking me questions like, oh, what do you think my kid is like 10 years old? Do you think, you know, mm. he's gonna become like a good star? Like, mm. man, let him relax. Have now fun. is the time. Let, <laughs> let him fun. have fun, you know. <laughs> we already have the pressure on ourselves. Yeah. We have the coach pressure. Mm -hmm. And I really believe like the parents, they need to support. Mm -hmm. Not be like another pressure when you get home, yeah. like, hey, your time was that and you made it that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you yeah. know, like, let him enjoy and yeah. have fun. Um, so last 20 years, super competitive career. Now you've taken a step back from the competitive side, still involved in the sport. And we're here at the World Championships. What um, what do you see happening in the sport of swimming over the next five, ten years? We talked about your personal passion and right. vision, but where do you see the sport overall moving? Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to think about in five years because I, 10, 20. I mean, yeah, even the, even that because. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen like a lot of change since so far, mm -hmm. and all my four games, I've seen like the. All the social media, all the, the mm. internet. I mean, yeah. this is helping technology, a lot. The sport, yeah. the technology, especially the information. If you go back in like '90s, 2000, even for the coaches it was hard because yes. they didn't have the info. And now it's very different. So yeah. Now it's like I always say, like if something happened, of course I know we're in China right now, but <laughs> you say like when in Brazil, if something happened in Japan, that yes. something that is like so far away, you're gonna find out in like five minutes. Instantly. Instantly. Yes. So. I don't know. I mean, it's 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 something that it's interesting to talk about. Like mm. I was uh, I was in Olympia this year, um, doing the Olympic Academy over yeah. there, and was really interesting because one of the subjects was about social media mm -hmm. and how it's been growing for the last right. four years. And I, yeah. where this is gonna stop? Like mm. the athletes. I mean, it's good for one side, but at the same point, the athletes need to be more aware. Like, mm. what are you gonna show on the social media? Because yeah. I know it's good for one side, but it depends on the, your result and depends what you're doing. Yes. It can go against yes. you. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's a hard question. Yeah. I mean, I've we'll seen see. like a lot of change in the last in the past four years. Yeah. And I don't know. And it's changing. It's changing. Like. It's gonna keep changing. Yeah. <laughs> Even with my swim pro, I mean. It didn't exist four years. Ago. <laughs> so that's the thing, you know, yeah. like. Imagine like four years from now with my swim pro with all this technology. Exactly. I really, I don't know. Yeah, okay. That's not... <laughs> I hope it will be the best. You know, I always think like if it, if any changes or anything that happens, I always hope like it, it, if it goes to the best, yes. to the, to the best way, you know? Yeah. Awesome. So that's previewing the future. So I guess what advice do you have for the younger swimmers who 
you know, they know who you are and they're like, oh, that's amazing. He was able to accomplish so much. And they're just trying to get to that next level, whatever that level is. Um, and if you could do it in Portuguese. Oh, say in Portuguese? In Portuguese. What advice do you have for the younger swimmers back home who are looking to take that next step? Uh, just kind of right to, you know, Great. tell them. For <laughs> sure. Uh, Portuguese, for sure? Uh, yes. All right. Yes, yes. Cara, eu acho que é, seguir o sonho. É... Oops, sorry, let's go again. <risos> Cara, eu acho que é, você tem que seguir seu sonho. É, eu acho que não tentar abraçar o mundo. É, é uma coisa que eu sempre falo é degrau por degrau. Então, é, primeiro é um objetivo, depois um segundo objetivo. E foi assim na minha vida e assim eu fui crescendo. Então, eu ia numa competição, eu era num regional, atingi aquele objetivo. Depois era um nacional, depois era um sul-americano, até chegar nos Jogos Olímpicos. Então, é seguir seu sonho, nunca desistir. Muito treino, muita, muita raça e, e vale a pena. Não tem nada melhor do que quando você olha para trás, eu nesses meus 20 anos, e vê todo o meu sonho realizado. Então, desejo tudo de melhor para vocês aí. É, quem estiver batalhando, quem estiver treinando, nunca desista. Corra atrás, porque vale muito a pena. Fechado? Grande beijo. <laughs> That's awesome. And if you could summarize that in like one sentence in English. One sentence, dedication. <laughs> one word, one word, dedication. You heard it from the man. We dedication. are here in Hangzhou, China at the FINA World Aquatic Convention and World Championships. That was this episode of Ask a Swim Pro Show. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. Later, guys. <laughs>